How did a note get into a sealed cereal box? That's the question, among others, tonight being asked by a Luzerne County man. He contacted the FBI about the note as well as the I-team to look into the situation. 2822 News lead investigator Andy Mahalshik is working the story and joins us live in studio. Andy, what have you learned? Well, good evening, Nick and Madonna. There are lots of moving parts to this story, but it does appear, based on our research thus far, the notes like this are showing up in all types of food products from numerous grocery stores around eastern Pennsylvania and beyond. And it does appear that the note found in Luzerne County was not put into the box of cereal at the point of sale. We're still working the story and looking for answers. Here's what we found. I usually, when I open up cereal, I take the bag out and I open up the bag like this. So I poured it out in my bowl and out comes uh, this paper. That was all folded up just like this. And Joe Miller from Sugarloaf Township says he couldn't believe what he was seeing. He tells the I-team he bought the box of Lucky Charms S'more cereal at a Luzerne County grocery store on Sunday and opened it on Monday night. Oh, I was devastated. I mean, I didn't even want to eat the cereal. Um, although I have, she still have the box here. I'm probably not going to eat it. I don't know what's inside the cereal or if this note was laced with anything, you know. At this point in time, 2822 News is not showing the name of the store where the cereal was purchased or the contents of the note as we continue the search for answers. But we can tell you the note contains a mashup of words and references to current events and conspiracy theories. Miller says his big concern is that somehow a note made its way into a sealed food product. I mean, it just bothers me. That, I mean, the note really... It's not the note that really bothers me, it's just what was, it's, uh, these notes are found inside food, like kids' kids' food. Now, Miller contacted the FBI, as did the I-team, and FBI spokesperson had no comment on the note. We did reach out to the manufacturer of that cereal, General Mills, for comment. We have not yet heard back. Now, a spokesperson for the store also tells us they're investigating that situation. Again, we have not heard back from General Mills at this point. We'll keep looking for answers. Back to you. Okay, Andy, thank you.